Hi everyone, it's July 4th, 2012. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. And everybody out there, and I say this with the most sincerity I can imagine, happy 4th of July and happy, re happy Independence Day, or what used to be Independence Day. Here in Wilmington, Vermont, while we're not having the fireworks today, we're saving them for Friday when the tourists get here. So much for celebrating on the correct holiday, right? Let's make it for the money. Obviously, I'm saying this a little facetiously for this guy. Like I said in the title, this is Schmuck to Lynn Scottsdale. Now, I did a video just yesterday, and he replied with two replies. Out of the six views I had, he made two replies. One is that you are losing your mind. And the other one is, we need to be thankful as all hell. We live in a country where one group can't impose, impose their will on challenge. And just exactly, Lynn Scottsdale, when exactly did that start? The wealthy have now for quite a number of years imposed their will completely on the rest of us, regardless of party affiliation. When you live in a two-party system, eventually after a couple hundred years they're going to combine they're going to say they're that different when was the last time you sat down to dinner with the head of your local your countywide political party when was exactly the last time you got to go golfing with the guy do you know his name can you tell me the names of the two guys in charge of one, the Democratic Party, two, the Republican Party. The behind the scenes actors that do so much to make sure we have so damned little. Because honestly, that's what they're doing. This noise about, oh, we're going to improve the schools. If you were going to improve the schools, you'd put money into them instead of figuring ways to, well, we'll rebudget things because you got to do more with less. Eventually, you're trying to do everything with nothing, and that doesn't work out real well. Sorry about your new math. It just doesn't work. He went on then to say, whereas your posts were once filled with insightful criticism, they now come across as science, sour grapes, and envy. I'm just being honest with you. Happy 4th. Well, first of all, Lynn Scottsdale, happy 4th to you, but no. They're still insightful. The ones you're talking about is when I was bitching at the Democrats and the ultra-liberals. And they deserve much blame on this, too. Because, again, you know, when you bailed out, when our Congress bailed out all the people they've bailed out and didn't demand resignations from either side, it proved to me that we only have one political party and they are only interested in one thing, maintaining the status quo that is, the rich get richer, and they get to suck up some of the money. And to hell, I say, with the rest of us. Otherwise, those telephone jobs that we've moved to India, so you can't understand what they're saying, they'd be here. Those manufacturing jobs we've moved to China, they'd be here. Tell me exactly how it is. It's so damned inexpensive to ship the iron to China. Have it smelted and made into things, then ship it the hell back here rather than, you know, take it from the mines here to a smelter here. Oh, our wages. Yeah, that's right. We want more than two buckets of rice a day. You're goddamn right. Although now I've noticed that China has all the problems we used to have, like you can't see from one side of Peking to the other because of the smog. So people are going to start dying. Now, when enough people die in enough droves, there will be some sort of a comeuppance, a bill to pay, because eventually you run out of people to do those manufacturing jobs because they've died. Maybe this doesn't compute somehow for everybody, but it works like this. Sooner or later, people get tired of having those two buckets of rice. They want a third one because, you know, they've got to make do and do more with less all the time. Now, if we're all doing more with less, and this goes to the sour grapes thing, if we're all doing more with less, how come, how come then the richest 1% get to do a hell of a lot more with more? 
I thought they were sharing in this too, but there again, according to Lynn Scottsdale, it's sour grapes and envy, see. I shouldn't be envious at all that everybody's pocket is being picked, and I'm not envious. I'm irate. There's a difference. And yes, sour grapes, sure, because this used to be a great country. We focused on things like public education and public infrastructure, roads, bridges, dams for hydroelectric, all those good things we've forgotten how to do because, well, it's so much better and cheaper and easier. Well, we'll invest in this company and we'll invest in that company and we'll take things out of that company and we'll take things out of this company and the company folds, but hell, we got ours first. Except those were jobs that aren't there anymore which may, means that economic power isn't there anymore. Is any of this sinking in? When you don't have people working, you don't have people buying. Everybody lines up at Walmart on Black Friday. Think about why. Because they no longer have the money for the good stores downtown that are closing their doors because, shit, they can't get any customers. I know this is tough to understand. It's basic economics 101. When people have money, they spend it. They buy things. This is why you have a recession. Nobody has any money. They can't buy things. You have a buildup, of a backlog of merchandise that you then have to, the manufacturer then has to get rid of at below cost, which means they, co they cost the manufacturer money, which means the manufacturer goes out of business which means those employees are now out of luck too, so there's that much less buying power. Again, this is Economics 101, it seems to have bypassed the geniuses. I'm thinking that probably this is because we have a few too many bureaucrats, and bureaucrats, as I've said before, are muskrats, but their pelts aren't worth near as much. They're part of the muskrat family. You know, bottom feeders, you know, the whole bit. And, you know, honest to God, it is that way. And go ahead, Lynn Scottsdale, come back, reply back to me, tell me, prove to me how I'm wrong on this. It's all you got to do. Otherwise, as far as sour grapes and envy, and you're just being honest, no, you're not. You're lying through your teeth because you've been planted, you're a stooge for the wrong side, and that's my friend, the schmuck look. You have a great day. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Peace.